plan rate law, so your rate can never go up for any reason. And with this plan, you can pick your payment date, so you can time your premium due date to work with your budget. So call now for free information, and you'll also get this free beneficiary planner, and it's yours just for calling. So call now. Call 1-800-482-1800 for your free information and your free gift. That's 1-800-482-1800. 1-800-482-1800. Call now. You wouldn't accept an incomplete job from anyone else. So why accept it from your allergy pills? Most pills don't finish the job because they don't relieve nasal congestion. Flonase allergy relief is different. Flonase relieves sneezing, itchy, watery eyes, and a runny nose, plus nasal congestion, which pills don't. Flonase helps block six key inflammatory substances. Most pills only block one, but six is greater than one. Start your day with Flonase for more complete allergy relief. Flonase, this changes everything. NASA says the first spacewalk featuring two women astronauts will not happen as scheduled this week. Janet Chanley tells us why. Christina Cook and Anne McLean were set to make history Friday, the first time two women would spacewalk together. But the seven-hour task has been recast with just Cook and astronaut Nick Hay. NASA calls it a spacesuit sizing issue after McLean realized a large suit limited her reach. Women on social media blasted the decision, including Hillary Clinton, who tweeted, make another suit. There's a lot of things involved with getting a suit ready leading up to a spacewalk. I couldn't imagine detracting from that time by having them try to get some hardware ready. The suit's fit is critical, protecting space walkers <laughs> from extreme cold and heat. Astronauts do practice in water, but the fit can differ in space. Kathy Sullivan in 1984 was the first American woman to walk in space. For a young woman, a young girl, a person of color, for anyone to be able to see someone more like them, it makes it that much easier. Only 12 of NASA's 38 active astronauts are female. Tonight, a slight stumble on what they all hope will eventually be a giant step forward for mm -hmm. women. Janet Shemley on CBS News, San Francisco. Up next here, how to fix a broken school. Principal Cook found a unique recipe. This portion of the CBS Evening News is sponsored by the Ford F-150. It doesn't just raise the bar, it is the bar. Thank you very much. 